Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement. It is spring down here. Now it looks like fall. I mean, look at all the leaves and stuff all over the ground. And if you go through our neighborhood, people uh, that have raked up their leaves and big piles out there to get picked up. Well, the last three days, the wind's been blowing an average of 18 miles an hour. <laughs> it's big gale warnings. It's just been windy and uh, their leaves are everywhere all over the neighborhood so when you go through the neighborhood um, there's leaves and i'm not a leaf raker i'm a i just mow i'm a mower not a, not a raker so i'll go over these eventually with a mower uh, and mulch them up but these live oaks down here you can see them you know everybody's got live oaks and that you know their leaves fall in spring so this is our version of fall Spring is our version of fall in St. Mary's. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to do a little work on the garden today. Uh, a few things, and then I'll kind of show you what all I've done. Uh, but I got, um, I'm going to show you the before picture. Okay, this is it now. Uh, you can see the leaves have fallen in there. I got some stuff growing. One of my squash plants, a squirrel, apparently got in there and broke it which aggravates me, it's that one right there. Um, so I, I had to buy some squash plants from, um, from Walmart, uh, cause, which, you know, it was aggravating because I grew those from seed. But anyway, um, and we hadn't had any sun for like three days. I mean, it really has been like fall the last three days. It's been in the 50s, windy, rainy. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, garden work and we'll see what we get done here this morning all right i'm gonna do a little touch of hoeing just to get some of these uh you know this little weeds that have started growing in here i'm gonna get them pulled up or hoed up All right, got most of this uh, most of this wild stuff out. I'm gonna throw these. Uh, oh, I got about six squash plants. I got three right here. This is the one that got broke, so I don't think it's gonna live. So I'm gonna put one next to it. Put the rest of them right here. Had to go get some pants on because the gnats were already getting after me. These gnats down here are terrible. Well, these look pretty healthy. So they ought to do fine. I just like to try to grow stuff from seed, you know, when you can. And that one might live, I don't know. This is really more squash than I need, but it may not grow at all. It didn't do any good at all last year, but like I, I don't know that I can uh, just go by what happened last year. All right. Now, I'll throw out my okra. It's really easy to plant. This will be the last thing I plant in here, hopefully.
got one, two, three, four rows of uh, okra I'm going to put out. Okay, I may not have said it, but I think today is March the 22nd or 23rd. Um, so I'm going to get this straw out between the rows. I've got my ochre out. So like I said, that's everything I'm going to plant um, that I know of. And then we'll go around and we'll kind of look and see how the plants are doing. All right. Now, of course, the reason I do that is uh, it helps cut down on the weeding uh, once I mulch it like that. And, uh, you know, that's, that's the main reason. And it helps, you know, keep uh, moisture in the soil, which, like I said, this year I'm going to be uh, pretty much putting water on it every day anyway. I learned that from last year. These are my peas. My peas purple hole peas or cow peas and they're doing fine they're really really tough I actually have some lettuce that's coming up from when I threw out all that lettuce in the fall where I only had the one lettuce plant that grew so I have several places where there's some wild lettuce not wild lettuce but volunteer lettuce coming up so I'm gonna let that grow I'm not gonna interfere with it all these middle rows one, two, three, four. Those are all okra. These are some leftover tomato plants. I just got them sitting out here in case for some crazy reason I decide to do something with them. Here's the squash I just planted. Uh, this is the squash that was already out here and growing that I grew from seed. It's doing really good. Uh, these are some jalapeno peppers. tomatoes and the wind has been blowing like crazy like I said the last three days so these things ought to be nice and strong if they are still standing got some onions down through here and some sweet peppers and bell peppers right through this little stretch right here and this is a bell pepper that came up from last year so, ooh, I'm going to water this uh, just because I planted that stuff and to kind of settle that um, straw down a little bit. I'm going to mound a little bit more dirt around these that are in these Vivisun bags, and they're doing good too. And one of them, this one I believe, had a squirrel that had dug around in it, and I it seems to have recovered, but they're doing great. My determination right now is paying off. Actually, the weather is, <laughs> it's not me, believe me. I can't make seeds grow. Uh, but anyway, the weather's cooperated. I've been able to water it every day. I got all this new soil in here. Uh, so, so far, so good on March 23rd, 24th, something. I'll put it in the uh, description what day it is. 
Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. <laughs> oh, that wind's killing it. <laughs>